In this training aid, we will look at the grid magnetic angle, GMA. GMA is the difference between north on your compass, known as magnetic north, and north on a map, known as grid north. You use GMA to change between magnetic bearings from your compass and grid bearings that you plot on your map. GMA is represented as a numerical figure and can be found at the top of Ordnance Survey maps or in the legends. On military maps, GMA is also found in the legend. On most maps, GMA is given in both degrees and mils. For land navigation, the military always use mils. As GMA changes annually, depending on the age of the map, you may have to adjust this figure. You do this by following this rule. Take the current year and subtract the year of the map. Then multiply it by the annual change shown within the GMA information. Now subtract this figure from the map's current GMA. You will now have the correct GMA to use with that map. Let's look at an example. Take the current year, 2011, and minus the year of the map, in this case 2007, to give you 4. Now multiply this number by the annual change, in this instance 2.5 mils, which will give you a total of 10. Now by subtracting this figure from the map's current GMA of 39 mils, it gives you a total of 29 mils. This is now the correct GMA value to use with this map. Once you have obtained the GMA, it can then be applied in the following two ways. If you subtract GMA from a magnetic bearing, you will have a grid bearing. Or, if you have a grid bearing, you must add the GMA to obtain a magnetic bearing. You can use this handy rhyme to help you remember this. Mag to grid, get rid, grid to mag, add.